Jasmine, I'm going to be solving this problem here. Um, the question is, the sum of two numbers is 12 and their difference is 8. So the best way to do this is treat it like a simple algebra problem um, and using variables and numbers to represent what's going on in this uh, problem. So it's saying that the sum of two numbers is 12. Now we don't know what these numbers are, whether or not they're the same or different. Uh, probably going to be different numbers because if they are the same, then the difference would be zero. So we know that they are different numbers. So the best way to represent the first number is going to be represented by X. The second number is going to be represented by Y. Um, and they said the sum of two numbers, so you add them together, it's going to be 12. So that is something that uh, you can safely say. Then it says their difference is 8. So we will say x minus y is equal to 8. Now, I know we don't know which one's the bigger number, but I'm just going to say in this order, in this representation, x is going to represent the bigger number. Um, so we know that it's going to be a number like that number minus that is 8. So in this, we are going to use addition. There are many ways we can approach this, but the easiest uh, to conquer this one right now is simple addition. So what is x plus x? It is 2x. Please excuse my handwriting. I am not an expert at this, whatever this is. And then it's plus y uh, minus y, which is going to represent 0y, or just 0. And then the next one is 12 plus 8. 12 plus 8 is 20. And again, handwriting is awful, but you see where I'm going with this. Now I'm going to use the typing. So 2x is equal to 20. That means we can use simple algebra again at this point. So what do we do when we have 2x um, and we want to exclude the 2, excuse me, you want to exclude the x, you in this case would Divide, yay. And the following would look like x is equal to 10. Now we know what x represents, but we're not sure what y represents. So we can plug it back into either one of these two equations. You'll get the same answer. Um, I would rather this one right here simply because that's just easier in this case. So that's supposed to be an arrow, just so you know. You know it is because I said so. So x is being represented by 10 minus y is equal to 8. That is a 0. And then how can we tell what this is? Next one, uh, we subtract 10 from each side. So it's negative y is equal to negative 2. Uh, we divide out the negative signs, giving us y is equal to 2. Now, remember when I said you could do the same thing to this side? So this side would give you... 10 plus y is equal to 12, or subtract 10 from each side. Uh, y is equal to 2. So either way, you get the exact same answer. So that's how you do that. Thank you.